Ten times down, ten times more. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Neratia Stargazers. Episode number ten here in D Machine Live from St. Louis, Missouri. Of course, I am your ringmaster, your global hero, and your voice of Neratia, James Page. And we are getting ready to get into what promises to be another amazing episode, and it looks like. We are starting the episode off with Valentina Salinas. Valentina Salinas, the former Wonder of Neratia champion, lost that title back at Iron Throne to Jerry Kurosawa. You see Jerry's poster adorning the stage there on the right now. And Jerry Kurosawa really came out of nowhere to win that title. No one had seen her since World Finals when she took on Kara Maxis. You know, Maxis wants revenge as well. Is she going to be a part of our main event tonight? Her and Mia Nishimura for the Sansa Time title. Maxis wants to win that title, retain three times, and cash it in on Jerry Kurosawa for a title match. But for now, Valentina Salinas can come out here and it looks like she is wanting a microphone. Let's see what the fashionista has to say. Change of heart for Valentina Salinas. Guess we'll see if she make good on her promise to destroy Oakley Strauss and take that world title from her. Fit and Jerry Kurosawa certainly will change you. We've seen that with Kara Maxis as well. And Ruriko Sakai has certainly changed the landscape of Nerezia. So she just destroyed every young gun at the start of the show. You saw the footage. I can tell you right now that there's an entire security force here in Nerezia that's hunting Ruriko Sakai down. Trying to figure out where she went. We hope to have an update on that throughout the night. Absolutely disgusting. Clearly hunting the immortal. Clearly wanting fondly and Kim is Ruriko Sakai. But for now, we're getting into our opening content here. This was supposed to be M City Mizu and Ocean Sky for the Young Gun Championship, but of course, thank the Ruriko Sakai. That's not happening. So Heaven Black just told the girl at the back, you know, if you want a match, go. We'll see the two competitors that will be competing here. One of them, Kimmy Moon, already in the ring. Saw her last week put up a fight against Sophia Fortune. Kimmy Moon, amazing 
talented competitor. It'll be interesting to see who her opponent here tonight is. Like I said, she put up a fight against Sophia Fortune last week. See who gets it tonight. And it seems to me that an old face has returned. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to the ETC network, you are new to us, you may not know this woman right here, former Fukui Pro Women Champion, former PWA Women Champion as well, Lucy Sendragon. Lucy said, Zeragon making her grand return. It had been nearly five years now, four or five years since Lucy said, Zeragon had competed in the ETC. She's been wrestling all over Europe and part of the React Pro Series. And in Japan as well. The 27 year old from England. See how she does here tonight. See if that ring rust here in the ETC ring causes any issues for her. A reborn Lucy Sandragon taking on Kimmy Moon is now. The bell is rung and we are off. Beautiful kick there, Doug. Nice maneuver there from Lucy Sendragon. Jimmy Moon, 27 years old, Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Lucy Sendragon, also 27, from Maidstone in Kent, England. And now. If we're caught there, throw her down to Kimmy Moon. And Moon is on top. Early in the contest. And beautiful combination there. Good timing on Kimmy Moon. Threw her into the corner when she fell. Hit that running swanton. I know that she wanted to combo her in the corner, but momentum acted differently. And Kimmy Moon really light thinking on her feet. To protect their beautiful drop kick from Moon, one of the brightest young talents in Niratias. And it is on display there. Beautiful corker to the floor. Now Moon on the apron, sizing her up. Beautiful drop kick. On Lucy Sendragon now into the cover two. Sendragon kicks out. While Lucy has not been competing in the ETC, she has been keeping active in other promotions. Pulled her into a lariat there, beautifully done. Former champion, like I said, now drops Kimmy Moon down. Beautiful cross body to the back. Lucy Sendragon has regained control here in your opening contest. Four Stargazers, ten. And now, oh my goodness, vicious shot there, and oh, kicks her upside the head. Lucy Sendragon has only gotten more vicious in her time away. Big dick guitar there to the fake dick and forearm. Now Sendragon out to the outside. Kicked her down into the guardrail. Now Hepman hooked up and dropped her face first. On the top of the guardrail. Threw her into the apron there and now beautiful inverted slam on the floor. Kind of like a following slam variation. Moon into the ring now into the cover. One, 
two. Oh, no, yeah, two count. And Lucy Tenjagen starting to get frustrated. A big right hand there. Now, look at this. Just throwing Moon Face into the canvas. Now, hooked her up. Spinning side slam from Lucy Sendragon. Two, only a two count. Lucy Sendragon will be looking for the Sendragon kick. Picking a kick, she just got kicked down. Beautiful standing star press there. And Moon continuing the pressure instead of going for a pin there. Corker arm drag. Headed to the top rope. Our hand, no. Fought away. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. From the top, hooked the leg. Only a two count, though, for Kimmy Moon. The Sen Dragon kick. Signing sermon over of Lucy Sen Dragon for year. Kimmy Moon. Looking for her finisher. As well, the fisherman neckbreaker. Now, Kimmy Moon. Look at that bag full jumping over. Ducked under, hooked the feet. Look at that nip up, drop kick, beautifully done by Kimmy Moon. And Moon now sending Send Dragon into the corner. Big shot there. Now what is this? Has Send Dragon hooked? And oh my goodness, banish fly. She calls that mutual ruin a two. Only a two count. From Kimmy Moon. Moon now, I think, looking for invisible symmetry, her finisher. The psycho driver, but no. Countered forearm, big forearm, and well, dropping her. Now, Kimmy Moon moving to the top rope. And wait a minute, Lucy Sendragon, what athleticism. And now, beautifully done. Banished fly. Rather, Falcon Arrow off the top rope, too. No, only a two count. Beautiful athletic and that leap to the top rope. The Falcon Arrow as well. Now, Pop Moon up into a German. One, two, only a two count, though. And just like that, everything in back. And Lucy Sendrag in favor. Sendrag now up to the top rope. Beautiful drop kick. Right hand, left kick, back chop now. Hook there. Choke breaker. Evolution of the choke slam that she used to do years ago. If modified it into a back breaker now. Still only a two count for the reborn. Lucy Sendragon. Sendragon now sends her into the corner. Big forearm. And now watch this. Big forearm again. Wicked right hand. Sendragon now in the corner. She's waiting for Moon to get up. She's lining her up for something. Spear! From Lucy Sendragon into the cover now. Two. Is that enough? No, it is not. Kimmy Moon fighting valiantly on. I don't know how much she could possibly have left. And I see him been putting in hard work training after the loss to Sophia Fortune last week. And now tripped her down. Big Quanton there. Kimmy Moon trying to figure out what to do with, with Sendragon out. Kick there, get caught. Kick again, countered. 
Kimmy Moon and very good at the counter, it seems. Swanton went for it again, but missed. And rips her into a short arm clothesline there. Burning clothesline. These two guys are fighting with each other. Big German suplex. And picked ankle. My God, what a violent elbow. Lucy Sensagen now dragging Kimmy Moon middle of the ring. Setting her up for something here. Calling her to her feet. What is this? Sack Dragon Kick. She's not done. I thought for sure she would go for the pin. Racks her up. My goodness, what a knee. One, two, three, and that's going to do it. Lucy Sen Dragon. Modifying her old arsenal. We used to see her win by submission with that torture rack. Now she dropped into a brutal knee lift. I don't even know what you would call that. Then it's a send dragon kick as well. Her old choke claim would become a backbreaker. Reborn and evolved. It's Lucy Send Dragon. Celebrating her first win of five years on the ETC Network. Former Fakui champion. Maybe it won't be too long before she gets to add a near a T in title. To that, I'm being told by Haven Black that Lucy Dragon is in fact now a permanent part of the near a T's roster. Welcome to Stargazer's Lucy Dragon. We are now getting ready for our second contest of the evening. It's going to be Chelsea St. James battling the Iron Queen Rent Sayaka one on one. Stay tuned for more Neratias Stargazers. Right after these commercial messages. An ominous warning from Alec Black there towards Nara Red Cloud next week. We will see the Guardian take on Duke Day, but now it is time for our second match of the night here. Starting to 10, Chelsea St. James, sorry, to take on Rensay Aka and Chelsea St. James. And taking a few weeks to rest after the Iron Throne. She looks like she has healed nicely and she's ready to go, but you know how much healing could she have done? We still haven't seen Lee Ray since Iron Throne. Chelsea St. James, the reason for that superplex off the top rope. The only thing that Dave Chelsea was hitting the ropes, I believe, but Chelsea also went through a car windshield thanks to Jink Dumas. Had a tough challenge here to get back in the swing of things as she had to take on the Iron Queen Ren Sayaka. Chelsea St. James, you know Chelsea, she's always down to fight. 
She is a warrior. She is a pit bull. You cannot keep her down. She is now getting ready to deal with Ren Sayaka. Ren Sayaka. She didn't take too much damage at Iron Throne. Entered the Annihilator last. And her fight with Olympus Jinsong was mostly one sided. And Sayaka more than ready to go here tonight. You see that crown on her head, that is the Iron Crown. One for winning the Annihilator. She can cash that crown in at any point for a world title match. I can tell you the Oakley Strauss. Better watch her back. It seems that the group of people coming after her is only getting bigger. Obviously, Moa Suzuki last week. Valentina Salinas, Ren Sayaka. Certainly becoming a target at Oakley Strauss. But that's what happens when you're world champion. You better be ready to take on all those targets. All the people hunting you, and now we are getting ready to go. Four. In contact here, the Bella Turner. We are off in Chelsea. Sprints across the floor. Bachner didn't even take Ren Sayaka down. Sayaka caught the leg there. Beautifully done. Going for the legs. Super kick. Hard thrust kick there from Ren Sayaka. Now hand bring into the knee drop. And that's in where we're going to find out just how much Chelsea St. James is healed because Ren Sayaka is all over her right now. The skyscraper. And now, good lord, almost throwing Chelsea St. James through the ceiling. Here is the machine. As Ren Sayaka now continuing the assault, moving St. James into the corner. That's at the last point Chelsea St. James wants to be. It's pinned down in the corner by Ren Sayaka. For I'm caught. Springboard, beautiful cross body there. A drop kick to the lower back. This is what Chelsea needs to do. Try to stay moving. Spin kick. Big senton, beautifully done. Now bring more cross body. Now to the top rope. Chelsea St. James making good on her strategy here. Using the rope to her advantage. And it's a big egg handle there to the back. Not even a two count there. Chelsea continuing the attack now on Ren Sayaka. Doing everything she can to keep her down. Beautifully done. Into the combo. Sayaka. I think Chelsea was looking for a springboard there, but saw that Sayaka was moving towards the corner. Tried to reposition. With that drop kick mid, big two-handed choke climb there, just free falls there. My friend don't know that, it to be nearly eight, nine feet in the air. Free falter again, that time out of the corner. And Tayaka just letting gravity do the work on Chelsea St. James. Now again! Letting gravity deal with it that time, shoving her off the top to the floor. Chelsea at the apron really hard there. And Sayaka, oh no, what is this? Chelsea fighting out, but I think Ren was looking to power bomb her onto the guardrail. Big right hand. And Ren Sayaka not even affected by 
Bump to Chelsea's offense. Big boot to the side of the head there. I know Chelsea calls herself the big dog, but she's dealing with a real big dog. The six foot seven guy Graper. The Iron Queen, Ren Sayaka. The springboard spinning, crop body, beautifully done. One, two. Only a two count. Four. Chelsea and Chelsea continuing to try the roll up game. Didn't work though. Now roll up again. Look at this. That is an interesting position to have Ren Sayaka in. Only a two count though. And two now, striking back and forth. Chelsea by the throat. Get out. Choke slam. Elevator crash there. And this one. This one's over. And Tayaka hooked her up. Eyes over heaven. One, two, three. That's it. Ren Sayaka. And defeated Chelsea St. James here tonight. Chelsea gave it her all, but it wasn't enough to deal. Run Sayaka. She runs celebrating now, fifth in the air. Wait a minute, Jinx! Jinx Dumont taking out, jumping on the floor with a rat trap. What in the hell? What's that all about? Jake, you're doing this to yourself, really. I don't... I don't understand what that dialogue was about, but... I guess... I guess we have a reason. I don't... I don't know. Stay tuned. To convince me I am the villain I never thought I'd be
Riko Sakai still covered in the blood of the young guns. And they're telling him it's in next week, Emma. I don't know if I'd show up next week, honestly. There's something deeply wrong with Mariko Sakai and the Shima Corporation. But now we're getting ready for our main event. It is Kara Maxis and Mia Nishimura for the Sands of Time title. Mia Nishimura's second defense. Kara Maxis. You know, she tried to protect Mia Nishimura back when Lorelai had that bounty put on her. But she failed in a sense, K and B secured the bounty. Kara Max is now one to fight Ian Ishimura. Here and I want the shot at that title. Mia gave it to her. Maybe it's a thank you. Kinda I owe you situation, I'm not sure. Definitely two friends going at it here tonight. And Mia Nishimura, blue title in her hand, ready to put it on the line. And Mia Nishimura always gets a nice reaction from the nearity of Faithful in the building. She will be going head to head with. Our friend Kara Mack is here for that title. Think about what Kara said last week. You know, if she can get a hold of Mia's title, she can use it to get the Jerry Kurosawa. She won for Vegas. For Vegas. If you haven't seen World Final Hero, it's part of a playlist here on the channel. Absolutely watch World Final Zero. Really was the start of everything here in Heritius. Every February of this year. Now, the car is wearing the blue. Let's see the max of gear to the fight. The victor here tonight. Nishimura still donning that brace on her left elbow. Put there by KMB. Here for Jim Johnson presenting the title here for our main event. And from the end of time title, 10 minute time limit. If we go to a time limit, draw the title and vacate it. Two friends now firing up in each other's faces. Circle and a lock up there, but Max has actually slapped her. And Maxis is on the attack. Max the truck first, and now Mia making her pay for it. Pounding her into the apron for taking her to the floor. Now into the guardrail. And the car magnet now into the ring. Now standing on the head, stomping on the elbow. And this is where it begins for me and Ishimura. You got to start working on that arm. She has a significant size advantage on Maxis. Of height and size wise. Now into the cover. One, two, only a two count. for Nishimura, no, Nishimura. Max is now fighting back. Is she counter? No kick. Big hip toss there. And Max is coming in, rolling thunder. Cover now, one. 
I'll take a one count. Guess I'm back to go hit that later in the max. She hit it pretty early here. I'm gonna cut that only land of the one count. Back elbow missed. That wicked back elbow. On a Mac, it's your favorite moves. Cover now, two. We got two count for Mia Nishimura. And we are two minutes deep here. And now Yuranagi. One, two. Only a two count shade to Cloud Fox with that Yuranagi. Cloud Fox, I know. I've been training quite closely with some of the near TN talent and some of the Fukui Pro talent since his apparent retirement. Now right hand big drop kick from Mia Nishimura. Nishimura now beautiful neck breaker. Now Max is striking away on the floor. Lightning kicks, a beautiful scorpion kick. Channeling the older gods with that scorpion kick, and now Max is throws Nishimura into the into the ring post. The steel ring post, they do not give. Now, Ishimura thrown into the ring after a bit of a crap on the outside of Magnet. Now, look at it. To the elbow. And again. I don't know if Magnet is looking to re injure that arm or not. Mia kicked her down to the knee. And a neck breaker. Now, we are continuing the attack on Maxis. Ms. Barno sending Magnus into the corner. Knee lift. Coming in hot with the face crusher in the corner. One, two, only a two count for Mia Nishimura. Call the kick. And back to wait a minute. Sharp her down. Sharpshooter. Cover back to the sharpshooter locked in. And oh, really got a set down now. Me and Nisham are in all sorts of trouble here. Mia able to. Get her arm back under herself. Take some of the pressure off and now pick the ankle. Beautifully done, but the pain has been done. The damage inflicted. And Magnus now continuing to attack the core of Mia Nishimura. A beautiful gut wrench duplex. One, two. Only a two count. Mia Nishimura. In all sorts of trouble here. Back to the wicked chop into a beautiful exploder. No, look at this. Google Plata locked in. Jiu Jitsu technique by Kara Maxis has this shit right under the chin. Pressed up against the throat. As Nishimura Nishi fights her way out. Magnets have been a lot more submission oriented than we've seen of her. We're under four minutes now into the match. Four minutes to the left. Big back duplex there. And Nishimura bails to the floor. And Magnet, look at that dragon sleeper on the floor.
And Mia twisted in a nasty way. Mia rolled through though, kicks her in the back. Now kicks her again to the knee. And Smart now sending Magnet back in. And now kicks her. And the way to we go. Nishi Bomb. There it is. On Kara Maxis. One. Two. No, the little rabbit. Kara Maxis kicks out. While the Baba Yaga continues her assault. Now back elbow. Head kick. Nasty technique by Mia Nishimura. And now she got the arm. Here we go. Kamora lock. Got her hand connected to her own wrist. She might just break Maxis's arm here. We've seen her beat Naru with this. She beat Lorelai with it. Well, it's Magnet gonna fall as well. No, Maxis able to escape. But the damage has been done. Beer with that bad shoulder. And a German suplex into the corner, but Mia lands on the ropes. Magnet fighting through the pain with that injured shoulder. And Spear again. She is throwing herself at Mia, but it's not doing the damage it normally would. And Supergirl punch with the good arm. One, two, almost gets Mia with the Supergirl punch. Not enough. Though it's not, I think she's setting Mia up. Perhaps looking for the Imperdier. No, Mia fights her off. And Bulldog. To the top rope. Now we're coming up on one minute remaining. Mia de Shimura. Diving dropkick. That was square in the face. And we're now under 60 seconds left to play, but it's not going to matter. Max, it kicks out. 50 seconds. Mia Nishimura. Contemplating what to do. Maybe we're thinking about that punt out of the corner. But Magnet moved all the way down. Close line. Close line again. Hooks the foot. Spin kick beautifully done. 30 seconds. And counting. Starting now for Magnet to Dreamcast. 20 seconds. Magnus hooks the arm, cross face. Cross face locked in. If Mia gonna survive, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, no. And Mia taps out. With under 10 seconds left. She didn't see the clock. She didn't know how much was left. She had to give up. The damage under the neck and the back was too much. Croft face from Maxis. Look at the torque on that, bending me and Ishimura in half. And that was the end. Me and Ishimura, Hikara Maxis now celebrating with the Sansa Time title. And oh, Jerry Kurosawa walking out on stage now. Wonder Champion watching Maxis celebrate. And that's gonna do it for us here at D-Machine. We will see you next week. Until next time, farewell.